deep in the Caribbean. Pirate Captain Lechak, Scourge of the Seven Seas, was taking possession of an enchanted artifact from a tribe of cannibals in a hidden village. The cannibals were furious, but they felt helpless. Lechak's crew, consisting of ruthless sea dogs, was holding them at gunpoint, awaiting orders. Kill them all, Lechak said. Lechak and his crew, putting out to sea from Blood Island with a magic object, neglected the fact that they were being chased by a ship. It was one of the ships of Tri Island's navy, guided by Governor Elaine Marley. The members of this massive naval force dealt with piracy in the Caribbean. That night, gaining the weather gauge, Elaine ordered the attack, and the fight began. Very surprised, Elaine, Lechak said. How do you manage to find me every time? Are you guided by love, maybe? Or is it some kind of trick? I really don't understand. Elaine was defenseless as Lechak found out her secret. He took a glance at her special necklace, a magic compass engulfed by mojo energy. Meanwhile, within the ship's hold, the voodoo priest, one of Lechak's followers and a master of magic, was arranging a very particular spell. So long, Elaine, Lechak said. And then all the pirates disappeared. The youngest soldiers wondered how such witchcraft was even possible. The veterans, on the other hand, knew pretty damn well that Lachak was capable of using his mysterious and obscure powers. And Elaine? Well, she knew everything. She remembered everything. And she could not forgive. In the priest's chamber, Lechak explained the situation. The priest asked Lechak why didn't he just destroy the compass when he had the chance. But Lechak claimed he soon figured out it would have been useless, because someone with voodoo powers may give her further advice. So why didn't you just kill Elaine? The priest asked. Because I don't want to, Lechak said. Thus the captain pointed out that because the compass steered his ship, he could just put some silly sailor in charge of it. In a little fishing boat anchored a few miles off the coast sat a young man, full of hopes and dreams, together with his helper. My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate! Yeah, yeah, we know.